please welcome Elton John. Ladies thank and gentlemen, he's in you, the thank house. You, thank you. Good morning, everyone. It's been six years we've been looking for this day, and it's finally yeah. here. Yeah. Welcome, and, sir. An interview six years in the making. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, I had to get my negligee ready and correct, so Six here I am. years and one mile away, Elton John. Yeah. Hey, we were uh, talking about Philadelphia Freedom earlier that you wrote for Billie Jean King. Was that... During the uh, time of the Bobby Riggs thing, the tennis match back in uh, 75, just, just, just afterwards when, um, I, I think just after that when she uh, formed the World Team Tennis stuff. And that was when uh, the first year of World Team Tennis was uh, the Philadelphia Freedoms that she played on that. And, uh, oh, that was the name of the team? That was yeah. the name of the oh, team, see? Yeah. There were about, what, eight, eight teams or so? Kansas yeah, there was City, very few St. teams Louis. to start with. And, um, Atlanta used to have the Thunder. Yeah. Was that it? Yeah, hmm. Luke and Murphy, remember they were in the Thunder? I think that's when you met them, Jimmy. When Back I met when, Luke and when they were playing, I don't remember. How long Thunder. have you been playing tennis, Elton? Um, since I was a kid, um, on and off. I mean, at school we weren't allowed to play tennis. Uh, it was a girls' game, and uh, typical England. And so I just hit the ball against a wall and played myself. And then uh, I had some lessons, and it's the only thing I like to do. Elton's decked out in Nike tennis gear. He's got the whole thing going. I'm gonna go and play tennis when I finish this. You see. Now, so you guys. Great station. I mean, you know, the only station I really listen to in this. Thank world. you. Really. Thank Save you very that much. sound bite. Yeah, really. Save, Save that sound that bite. Well, I know you go yeah. out and buy a lot of music. I love the new that Stone Temple Pilots try keep oh, Sour, Sour Girl. Girl. Mm. Now he said he wrote that. We did a live X with him. Yeah. He said he wrote that as a tribute to all the great British bands in the sixties. Really? Well, yes. it sounds like it sounds like it does. It doesn't His sound voice. like a Stone Temple Pilots record at all. His voice is amazing. Yeah, it's a great, great record. Your stuff, like now, is uh, so noticeably different than your stuff back in the seventies. And that's because uh, I'm eighty-one years old. Eighty-one <laughs> years old. But I remember I was reading this interview once, and I, I thought it was interesting because you know, the music of you know, the last ten years has noticeably been kind of you know a little softer. I'm, not I'm a lot of rock stuff, but you, but you you said in an interview once that. Because you write on a keyboard, it is more difficult to write up-tempo stuff on a keyboard. Yeah, I, I always struggle to write up-tempo stuff. It's different. You know, I'm trained as a pianist, and you, you just write different songs. You, chord structure-wise, you tend to put more chords in than a guitarist would. And uh, I've tried to play guitar, but my hands are so small. You do have small hands. my index finger is yeah. really small. Huh? You do have small hands. I, I have small that, hands, yeah. yes. But that's not like the rest of me. How did you hey, meet? Big hey, stomach. Hey, 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 None of that kind of talk here, <laughs> Big Sir stomach, John. big ass. What well, I can tell you. Um, Elton, how did you meet Ed? How did you guys meet? I, I, I actually called my publicist at the time and asked, could I just say hey or some something? I remember this. Yeah, it was around mm -hmm. near, near Christmas on a holiday. It was the first time we'd come on tour. And um, literally, like, within an hour, Elton called me back personally. And I remember, like, screaming like a little girl. Before I remember I could, hearing like, the story. Now, this yeah, is way back was, when. And he was, you know. Well, I'd been a fan of the band. We just, since Shine, since that first album, when that silly album cover. You know, which I always tease him about. It was a funny story about him going to dinner, I guess, at your place. And right. he was telling the story afterwards that he was afraid to touch anything. <laughs> Still <laughs> can am. I, can, I yeah. drink the, can I drink the water? Is it okay? <laughs> Speaking of your place, uh, have, you seen the, uh, have you seen the edition of Architecture? Yes, I have. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice edition. Uh, That's a nice cover. Now, do yeah. you have three or four places? Four. Wait, there's Lo there's London, England? London, Windsor in the country near the castle, uh, South of France and Atlanta. So you have two in London. No, or two one in, in England. Two in England. Yeah. Okay, two in England. Uh, and, and how many apartments together here? Um, well, I have the only two duplexes in the building. I started with one duplex, which was two thousand square feet, and then I started collecting photography, and then I just <laughs> ran out of space, so I had to buy the next door one and the next door one. So. I have right, kind of like five apartments, 18,000 square feet. God. I saw the nice Keith Herring in one of those, too. <laughs> Elton's knocking down walls again yeah. whenever they hear something I'll going on. I've been a bad <laughs> influence on everybody that comes to my apartment. Well, uh, see, Ed Rowland's been, you know, he's not the same now. Look at that hairstyle. I mean, please. Very <laughs> <laughs> I said, can we rewind back to the Shine video and just, you know. <laughs> What's kind of cool is, like, when you see art in Elton's place, like, if you come over to one of our houses and you see a piece of art, even if it's a famous painting, you know, at best, maybe it's a print. It's the poster. Chances are, like, <laughs> Keith Herring baby. came over and painted this yeah. for Elton or whatever. But my favorite <laughs> picture in the whole magazine is the picture of your glasses collection. And I don't know if you've seen that or not. Nice but what's kind of cool is... I mean, I can point to any of these glasses and, oh, yeah, I remember that. And that was yeah. on the cover of, you know, yes, this. The, cara uh, the caribou glasses are in there somewhere. Yeah, there's. Uh, I've never seen glasses so meticulously laid out. That's, that's I'm, quite. Well, you know, compulsive, obsessive, whatever you say. No, when you've, <laughs> sold, you've sold some of your clothes for charity, I have obviously. Sold some glasses, okay, yeah. that's what yeah. I thought. Yeah. 
Do you, uh, when you go on tour now, I mean, will you ever pull out some of the vintage stuff? Not really, because I think my prescriptions change a little bit. So, um, no, I just leave those there. I, I, I feel when people, I do shows and people, you know, give me those big sunglasses, you know, the plastic things you can right. buy. And I put them on, but I mean, it's um, it's been years since I wore them. Can you point to any of those and know, like, which Elton era like, they're is from? There, or is yeah. there a cool story behind any one yeah. particular pair? That well, these are the ones, these ones here, which have are, are got crisscrosses on them, the colored ones, the big white ones. Big white, They're, they're very, very ones. Elton in the, early, in the early 70s. And these ones here, these horrible That's things. That's Captain though. Fantastic, mm, isn't kind it? Kind of things, yeah. Um, they look like Willie Mandela's glasses, those ones. Um, yes. Um, it, uh, the, the white ones with the colored frames, uh, with with the colored lenses, with the crisscross and dots on them, I used yes. to wear all the time. God knows how. Do white. you still have uh, some of your old famous wardrobe? Do you still have the famous do- sequin Dodgers? No, I, uh, outfit? that that went. Uh, we sold that for charity. Um, I still have the Donald Duck outfit and the giant chicken outfit, which I wore on the Muppet Show. Uh, we uh, we just keep them, and then what, every time we release one every now and again, so we can sell it for charity for the AIDS Foundation or something. Elton, have you taken Ed Roland shopping? I see. We. I have, because, have we been shopping together? No, yeah. I, he hasn't had because, that experience uh, yet. But, I, but I've been a I bad want, influence on him. I, I want an, I want him to autograph the cover of Jezebel that he's on, where yeah. I think this is like a oh, Prada shirt, oh yeah. white see-through. Oh those were, he look gorgeous? Oh, yeah. those, those Ed, would you please flashy. autograph those, that for me? That is a great down. spread. Those are very so special poses, nice. Ed. <laughs> Those are very special. The whole special. band. Isn't they look gorgeous. <laughs> They're all in white. He's Have embarrassed virginal. about it. My brother yeah. when Ed, I need him. The, the, yeah. the boys oh, yeah. down Come in on, Stockbridge, Ed. I'll bet, love those oh, pictures. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your brother when you need him? He's out in L.A. doing some glamorous Isn't advert. Isn't he there? Uh, commercial. What is he doing? He's doing a Twix, a Twix commercial. commercial. Yeah. Is there one thing in your past that you've said that you're like, why did I say that or I regret saying that? Uh, oh, God. Because you're right. We've Every all said interview I, I read from the past and um, that they resurrect in like the New Music Express or any. God, what an ass. I said so many stupid things. I mean, you know. But mind you, it was probably the alcohol talking or something else. But, you know, it's best. I try not to say bad things about people in print. Only on the radio I say bad things. Yeah, well, um, but that's our job. That's it, our always, it, always come, it always comes back to haunt you. I always try and say good things about things I like and leave the rest behind. Because in, in, in Peach Buzz yesterday it said Elton John's getting really boring because he um, he's only saying you know nice things. He, we want him to be bilious and horrible. It's just when you read that as another artist, it's, it's, it's tough. it hurts. You know? And you talk to artists now well, like Sheryl Crow won't read any <laughs> reviews because yeah. she's horrified at picking up Rolling Stone and just seeing this terrible review. Don't or you just have to terrible, turn your back on that, you know, though? It still hurts, you know. I, I mean, sure. the Aida, which you know premiered in Atlanta and now in Broadway, got the most savage reviews in New York. I heard New about York. that. But it's the number two show on Broadway, and they were just they were just so vile about this. Why show. do you think that is, though? Because you're not in their Broadway circle. Yeah, or? and also. Yes, I think so, exactly. And because it's Disney, it's a really hate Disney. They hate really? Yeah. yeah, but The Lion King is one of the biggest hits ever. I know, but they hate it. They, you know, really? They want, the they want it to be like all Kiss movie? Me, Kate, and play? Carousel, and you know how it used to be. It's not like that anymore. I'm what are the way. craziest things mm. you've heard about you, maybe on Celebrity Sleaze with Leslie? That yeah. Things that come up that you wonder, where in the hell did well, that come from? The $400,000 from? a week on my credit card was pretty funny. The, but you were bankrupt to six months yeah. ago. You were bankrupt, down and out, about to, you know... Yeah, because I had a £25 million bank loan. and oh, I was, I Well, I did have a £25 million, pound, but we, we used it to get some catalog stuff back. And, you know, if you've got no money, people aren't going to give you $25 well, million dollars or £25 million. Pound. <laughs> your overhead, though, is, I mean, is... Uh, Notorious. I mean, you have a huge overhead. You have to admit, just because you like to buy a lot of stuff, you live. I do uh, have a huge overhead. You are not uh, yeah, expensive drivers. Y- yeah, I mean, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Me to drive right. today. I don't yeah. know if I don't know if the word low profile would ever apply to Elton John. Well, I don't stay indoors. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, I you know, right. I don't. I'm not. A rec- I'm not Barbara Streisand. I'm not Elvis Presley <laughs> or Michael Jackson. You, yeah, I like to get out. out. I'm a Tower Records, and I'm you know, why, you you know to, I, I have mm-hmm. a life to lead. You know, I'm not sure. Ding. But, uh, Tower what's, what was that? That was the plug bell. Oh, that was the plug bell. You said Tower, Tower Records. Records. What's, the, right. single, what's the, the single most expensive thing you've ever bought? Photograph. Really? Which one? Which one? Man Ray, uh, black and white, which I bought last year, $550,000. Now, who did that? Man Ray. Man Ray. Is yeah. this and part? is that going to be in the uh, High um, Museum Sugar exhibit? Sugar Ray's brother. Sugar Ray's, yes. yes. <laughs> is that part of the museum, the High Museum exhibit? Yeah, it will be. It's actually, um, yeah, I'm really excited about that on the 27th of October. The best of Barnes, Leslie, and Jimmy. 99X.